Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an October favorites video. So I'm going to go ahead and be showing you some of the things that I have been loving this month. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So one of the things I've been loving this month is to be wearing a dark lip. And as you can see, I'm wearing a dark lip right now. And the one that I'm wearing is Dark Side from MAC. This is how it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and show you. It just looks like this. I'm not sure if you guys can really see. And here's a little swatch that I did for you guys. But basically, it's like a dark wine red color mixed with like purple. What I've been using to apply this lipstick with is a lip brush because you always want to be precise when you wear a dark lip. You have to be very careful. So this is the lip brush that I got also from MAC. And it doesn't even look like a lip brush. It just looks like one of those really fancy business pens. And so this is what you do. You just open it and then you hook it onto the back. And then you just go ahead and apply and this is max 316 lip brush and it's honestly so good and here is how it looks a little bit up close as you can see I have been using it and so yeah that is how it looks in the last weeks of September I was looking for a new concealer to wear because I was just already wearing the concealer that I was using for too long and I just wanted to go ahead and branch out to a different concealer and the concealer that I got is one that is talked about a lot here on YouTube in the beauty community so I decided to go ahead and hop onto the bag wagon and get it and try it out and it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer and so Honestly, almost every YouTube person has been talking about this and so I decided to get it and try it out to see what's all the hype about and I can see why everyone does love it. It really does erase the dark circles that are under your eyes. The only thing I wish I would have done is gotten a lighter color instead of this one because this one matches my skin color a little too perfectly and I just like to have a concealer that's about a shade lighter than my skin color just so that it can go ahead and illuminate that area. But other than that, I have been loving this concealer. Also on the end of September, I was looking for a new mascara because the other mascara I was using, which was the CoverGirl's Lash Blast Volume Mascara and Waterproof, it was making my eyelashes really weak and my eyelashes would fall out very often. And I just didn't like that. And also it was a very pain to just be they're trying to take it off, take it off. I mean, it would come off, but it just would take forever so that I can get all of the product out of my eyelashes. So I decided to go ahead and try a new mascara, and the new mascara I decided to try was the Maybelline's The Colossal Volume Express. And at first I didn't like this. I was like, man, you know what? I should go back to the other mascara I was using. But I was like, let me just go ahead and try this out, see how it plays out as the month goes by and now I love it because it's very easy to take off number one since it's not waterproof and number two it doesn't make my eyelashes weak and I see that my eyelashes aren't falling off and another thing is I feel that my eyelashes are a bit fuller and more like separated I don't know just this mascara is very good. I enjoyed it throughout the month. Another thing I've been enjoying this month is to highlight my face since the summer is now over. My skin isn't as dewy. Even though I do have oily skin, it just doesn't look the same. It's a little bit less, you know, illuminated. So what I've been doing is highlighting and the highlighter that I've been using is the Benefits High Beam and I just have the little small one, the little sample. And I've honestly have had this for like two years I think and at first I never saw like what was the big deal about highlighting or even this product but now that I decided to really try it out and actually you know go out in it and see how it works I honestly really like it and I enjoy it and I like highlighting my face now so that's another thing I have been enjoying throughout this month Earlier this month, I went to Bath & Body Works and they were having kind of like this sale of buy two, get one half off or buy one, get one half off. 
So I went ahead and bought a few candles and the candle that I have been enjoying is the Mahogany Selfie. Okay, so I guess my dog decided to join in. But basically the candle that I have been loving is the Mahogany Teak Wood. And again, this is from Bath & Body Works. And guys, this smells just like Abercrombie and Fitch. It's just not as overwhelming because you know when you walk in it's just like boom and you just you're just like attacked by the smell. No, this one's obviously more subtle and everything, but honestly it smells exactly like this and I honestly love the smell of Abercrombie and Fitch. So I went ahead and got this because it smells exactly like it and I honestly do enjoy it and I'm so sad now because it is gone and I can't burn it anymore as you can see but honestly it smells just like Abercrombie and Fitch and I have used it all up this month and I'm so sad. You get a haircut huh? Earlier this year, I decided to cut my hair short just to, you know, experience short hair and also just for a change. And now it's grown out and I've cut, I cut it like up to here. And so now that it has grown out, it's at that awkward stage where I really don't know what to do with it because it's a little too short still to be curling it. And it's a little long, like it's just, it's just in an awkward stage. I really can't do much with it. So now I want to go ahead and grow it back out. And I heard that this shampoo helps with growing out your hair and it is the Mane & Tail Deep Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And honestly, I do notice that it has grown a little bit faster than what it usually has. And also other people have told me, wow, you know, your hair has grown. So I think that this shampoo has a lot to do with it, so this has been another favorite of mine. But another a downside to the shampoo is that I've noticed it does dry out my scalp a bit and my hair. So I don't use it with every wash, maybe every two washes or every other wash of, dry, of washing my hair. I go ahead and use this, but then the next time I will use like my regular one, I use either Head & Shoulders or Dove. Something like that, so it has just been another favorite of mine. So the next thing that I have is a body splash, and it is the Heavenly Body Splash from Victoria's Secret. And honestly, this body splash is one of my favorite body splashes ever. And I always love the body flashes and perfumes from Victoria's Secret, and they smell so good. This one smells so good. And I cannot explain the scent to you because I am not very good at explaining scents but honestly it just smells really good and if you guys haven't smelled it you guys should and you guys should get it because it is very good and this is honestly my favorite body splash ever. I for the change in lighting and position but it started to get really hot so I had to like close my window a bit and then if I move over here you can see like the lines. But my next favorite is a food favorite and it has been this brownie brittle that I got from BJ's. They usually come in a bigger size and brings a lot more. But this is just the baby size and basically all this is is a brownie in a chip form basically. And it has chocolate chips in it and it's so good. You can dump it into your milk or crunch it up and put it in your ice cream. And honestly it just tastes so good and I have been obsessed with it. And this is probably part of the reason why I've been breaking out so much, but it's worth it. I love this and it's so good and I suggest you guys really try it and eat it. It is so good. And my last favorite is kind of like a random favorite because it's a people favorite. But basically this month I have been enjoying watching the Sakoni Jolies. They are just an Irish family and they just recently moved to England. And they vlog every day and they have the cutest little kids and dogs and I have just been enjoying watching them they are so funny and their kids are just so cute so I have just been enjoying watching them this month alrighty guys so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it remember to like this video and also comment down below you know other videos that you guys want me to do and also if you guys have any recommendations of mascaras and concealers because I still want to branch out into different makeup um, products for the concealer and mascara. And 
also remember to follow me on my social media sites. I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll link all of those down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and bye! What? How do you guys say that? Another thing I've been enjoying, and the highlighter that I've been using, okay, that almost fell.